Hi students, this is Dr. Zimmerly, and welcome to the EDUC 3040-5540 Instructional Technology Online presentation. In this presentation, I'll show you how to sign up for Gmail, Google Drive, and Schoology. First, if you don't already have a Gmail account, simply go to gmail.com and sign up. Make a note of your login so that you don't forget it. A lot of the educational websites you will visit for this class let you log in using your Google credentials, which makes logging into those websites a total breeze. Plus, you won't have to keep up with a bunch of different usernames and passwords. Now from here, click on the waffle-shaped grid in the upper right corner and select Drive. Click New, then Folder. Name your folder EDUC 3040 if you're an undergraduate student or EDUC 5540 if you're a graduate student. This is where you can save any important documents or presentations that you find or create during this course. When you get to student teaching or have your own classroom, you might want to look back at these things. Now let's take a look at Schoology. Sign up for a free student account. You may use your Gmail address or your student P email to sign up for that account and make note of your login so that you don't forget it. You received a code from me in an email to sign up for our course, have that code ready, and then you'll click on Courses, Join, and enter that code, then click Join again. I'm going to go ahead and click Courses, and you can see here I've already signed up for it, and so I'm going to go there. Now first of all, let's do some housekeeping things. Click the down arrow by your icon in the upper right corner, click Settings, Change your time zone to America, Chicago. You can see I've already done this. If you fail to do this, you will not know when assignments are due. Now then click Save Changes. Click the Notifications tab. And decide what you'd like to update there. You can also sign up for text message notifications or download the Schoology app to your smartphone. Some students like to have the app on their phones to get instant notifications and reminders, but that is optional and totally up to you. Click the down arrow by your icon again and select Profile. Upload a selfie so we can put a face with your name. You are welcome to add additional details if you would like. Now click on Courses and select our course. Note that I'm creating this tutorial for one section of the class, so if you are in a different section, um, or if you are in 3040, no worries, this tutorial still applies to you. You automatically land on the updates page. To the right, you can see the due dates for your assignments. You can also click the small calendar icon above the due dates and see them in a calendar format. If you click on an assignment, then view, you will be taken right into that assignment. Another way to navigate to the assignments is to click on materials and then select the assignments folder. Keep in mind, if you are watching this tutorial during a different semester, then obviously the calendar and due dates will look different. Since we are already looking at your assignments, let me go ahead and talk to you about your big assignment in this course. It begins in Module 2. It is called the LiveBinder Project. You will work on it a little bit at a time until you turn it in during Module 7. Now when you start in Module 2, you will notice I have a tutorial video linked up here at the top to show you exactly how to get started with that project. Another important assignment is the final exam. You can look in that folder for more information about the final. The list of frequently asked questions is particularly helpful. I also created a review game to help you prepare for the final. And I recommend that you go ahead and read over those FAQs now instead of waiting so that you can prepare for the final all along the way. Nobody likes to cram at the last minute. Now let's backtrack to some important course materials. They are located in the Start Here folder. 
I want you to read the syllabus, information about live text and why you need it, and then you can also look over the tentative schedule. This tentative schedule is just like the one that we looked at earlier um, that's embedded in Schoology. It's just that I created this one as a Google document in case you would like to print this out, or it's just a different format to have. Notice that all of your assignments are due on, um, for this course, for the summer course, are due on either Thursdays or Sundays. Again, if you're taking this course during a different semester, you would look for the pink dates. Um, and then you can also see that your assignments are due by 11.59 p.m., which is one minute before midnight. Um, and there you can see um, the beginning of the semester and when it ends. All right, now I'm not going to go over every feature of Schoology. I expect you to log in and click all around to discover other things for yourself. Finally, remember to keep up with your assignments. Taking an online class is a big responsibility and you do need to plan ahead in order to do well. If you don't do well in this class, I can assure you it's not because the class was too difficult. If someone fails, it will likely be due to a lack of discipline and keeping up with those online assignments. Now, one more reminder, keep up with your Austin P email and uh, remember to log into Schoology frequently in case I give you notifications or updates or helpful hints. You never know when I might send out something important that could be useful to you. All right, thank you and good luck in the course.